was going to say the only thing that hasn't happened yet, and I feel like it's going to just jinx it, is just like I haven't been attacked today. Not yet. Um, oh, wait, one of my caravans just got out. Which was that? Two person. Okay, so we lost one out of this group and Trank is down. Why? You have, oh, you'll be fine. You'll get up. Your legs destroyed though, so I guess you'd be going a bit slow, but where is Jackal? The fuck did Jackal go? You're part of that group, mate. Fucking letting everybody down. Anyway, I don't even know if these guys can, I didn't even think about this. Uh, you got four social and what are you? I forgot to check if they could social. Oh wow, we're going to have a really great trade with that one. We've got four. <laughs> we have the trade power of level four. You're a one? <laughs> oh please tell me Franklin's got some. Eight. Brad, what's your salty fuck about? Zero. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so Franklin's got that best trade bet if he doesn't get fucked up. And was it Tranka? Was it Tranka that has the better one? No, it's white. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I didn't even think about that. I haven't done this for ages. Like, I feel like I haven't done it for ages. So I think this colony has been going for like, I don't know, um, since February, I think, give or take, and real world time. So what are we in December? It's been going for a while. I think that's about accurate. I think it either started then or March. I'm not quite sure. It's very close. It's one or the other. But yeah, these two will go out and hopefully do a trade since I apparently can't trade in my own area. This group are where? They are got nine days of food, but they're two days out. So that's not too bad. And how's the group that's supposed to be going out for this? There's also a second caravan supposed to be coming out of here. I don't know what's happened to that. I should probably check you. Mush, what are you doing? How's your caravan looking? Got 11 pack animals, so I guess they haven't been breeding. Most of them look like they're here, so they might be taking in food. Maybe resting. Maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, somebody's collapsed due to exhaustion. Who? Ah, it's just an animal. It's fine. It's just a duck. It's right. I'll slaughter you later. Don't worry about it. Let's see. Who else? Delicious. Oh, how's your caravan? Now, you're part of that same caravan. Where is the other one? There's 22 people in this. The odds of clicking on the one person that's not in this fucking caravan. It's pretty fucking low. Unless I don't have any more caravans coming out of here. No way that's correct, right? I'm pretty sure. I might back might actually be correct. Okay. Tell you what, what is it? The 8th of September, and how is this mostly all planted? Uh almost no entirely planted entirely planted so this is exactly how much i wanted planted by this point in time for this colony they've done what they need to do with planting and shit so that's fine this lot are actually doing really well considering there's only like a little bit down here that they gotta do left this little bit here and that they're doing quite well the only problem is we lost this entire fucking crop to um blight and nobody's doing anything about it like i know as soon as i get blight it's just a loss the only thing i could do is perhaps let the animals out out here and they might go and nibble or they might potentially get hitched up to wherever i put it i did put i might have rolled back and lost it but i put a couple of ca uh what do you call it caravan hitching spots out here so i kind of figured maybe the animals will eat it but this is perpetual summer so unless my people actually take the time to cut this up, um, the only other option I've got for a crop situation like this is to change the crop. Let's make strawberries. Let's also force them to cut anything that's here. And I'm going to say allow sowing. So the only hard part with that is what they do sow. Like, for instance, if they sow here or sow there, this might spread. Um, but it could change the crop over and allow for them to maybe do something. I don't know. I could only hope. They have been working on here a little bit. Just a teeny bit. That's okay. Fucking better than nothing. What about this group? Oh, Azula has woken up. She's about half an hour off her I need to be fed tantrum on the back of my chair. Like, I'll just start. Like, I'll be sitting here and I won't notice that she'll jump up on the back of my chair. And then she'll just shake the shit out of it. 
like non-stop. Like, all she'll do is she'll constantly rearrange herself, but she's like a good few kilos of cat. So it will just constantly shake the crap out of it. Ah, oh, Vince has made a legendary wooden bed. Nice. That is pretty good. Also, I have storage for this now. Uh, the good thing is silver doesn't really deteriorate out and about. Nobody really goes and steals it, but let's see how many beds we got here made. Six. Um, I guess six more beds are getting lifted from over here. Not that they actually will, but let's see. Tofu, mate. You having a tantrum? Yes. Aurelan's not. You're hauling milk, though. You can't do construction, Ida Star. Yeah, you can do construction. Hold up. Come up here. So I've had these listed for deconstruction for, like, fucking ages. Um, I've had this entire room listed for deconstruction for absolutely ages and they won't actually do it. And they just keep sleeping in these beds and destroying them and hating the fact that they're sleeping in like, I don't know, barracks. But it's not even that. If they'd literally just deconstruct these, there are other beds that they can go sleep in that are really nice, that have got their own private rooms, maybe even get to sleep with like their partners and stuff, but they won't do it. You can deconstruct that. I don't know what Frank is doing. Hey, Eddie, can you? You can't do stuff like that. Tofu can't. Drew can. You're cleaning dirt, though. How's about you come and you work on that, and I'll set this up for deconstruct. I'll send Star over there in a moment. I also want to get rid of these two beds. You can deconstruct that. E can probably do that, and I think Eddie can't. I think I already clicked on Eddie. Monkey might be able to. Yeah, he could do that. All right, that gets rid of what? Four, maybe, I think I counted like five or six beds in there. I'm not sure I wasn't paying that much attention. I think this was three, four, five, six. That should give us six beds elsewhere. I hope that they'll actually use them. I'm going to probably say these might go to medical, but they're internal at the moment, so I don't really want that. Um, this area, though, get rid of that for internal medical. And I guess, like, they are pretty happy to move shit around. So, I don't know. I kind of don't want to put it in there. I guess we can deconstruct that if they feel like it. And that. That's an excellent chair. I don't know why it's there. Hold on. What do you guys want an excellent chair? No, you can have an excellent chair. Okay. So what have we got? We've got a marble urn. Hold up. If I got more marble urns in here, they can deconstruct. I'll give you some stuff. What is this chicken eating? Okay, so the chicken will eat, like, the picked rice, but it doesn't look to me like they eat the actual, like, growing rice. So that might work out good. I don't mind that if the chickens are fed and shit. Also, how are we going with the chickens? Um, let's see, 5 and 20. Ducks, I have one here. Well, that's something that needs to be monitored. Let's make that 20 as well, because I've somehow got two ducks, a male and a female, and I have not been paying attention to this. But the problem is that they're in a big enough area, sometimes the ducks won't actually find each other and therefore won't fertilize eggs. So you'll just get like a whole heap of unfertilized eggs and the production of duck breeding will be very, very slow. This is why this space has a lot of fucking ducks and chickens and stuff because they all come to roost in one location. When they do that, they kind of get their mate on um, before they like return back out. So how are we going for, like, storage? Nothing. Terrible. People, terrible. Feed your fucking animals. All right, anyway, this group. I do need to send some of you some more out. I need to send... I know there's a whole heap of pack animals coming down eventually once that group decides to actually think about it. But for now, if I can grab, like, I don't know. Uh, lasagna can't actually carry any stuff. Uh, no, wait, that's nutrition forage per day they can actually carry a fair bit grab a couple of you guys i need like at least some of you like stains forth can go i think two of you got a melee weapon like three people i don't need a big group i just need to take a lot of animals i know it will take a longer time to get them up and running but if i can just grab whatever exists and just get them going going out of here that would be great grab you guys grab you two my flow extra extra little baby mufflos yak they'll do it okay that's all the uh hauling animals i've got like you know a thousand odd fucking kilos it's not too bad 
it's not the worst. I would like to take maybe, I don't really want to take anybody that can shoot. I'd rather take like people that can't, but I've got gunners still here. If I get attacked on the way, it sucks, but it happens. Um, I guess we could take some medicine. I've got a lot of people here and taking a lot of that out of here won't be the best, but I'll tell you what, if I take that down a couple, looks like I'm also taking about 10 people. So I've got a fuck ton of this, right? And I don't have much medicine up where I am. If I took about 400 of that, I do have a lot of pemmican. Actually, that's down to 10,000. I must have sent out a lot. I must have sent out quite a fucking lot. Um, how many survival meals can I take? It rots in two days. So I can't take too many survival meals. Or simple meals, sorry. But I could take a couple. Um, probably take... What do I have? I've got ten people, right? So one each. I've got... What else have I got here? Herbal medicine. Package survival meals. I wouldn't mind tanking this up a bit, but let's see. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think... That's why they're taking that. I'll leave them with the package survival meals. It's fine. Let's take let's take about 500 odd. If I could carry that. That's only five days of food. What the fuck? All right. I don't really want to take a thousand, but I might. Yeah, that's actually, wow. Okay. Nine days of food is like a thousand pemmican. Sweet Jesus. I'd like to take more than that, but I really need them to actually carry shit. So Things that I need going up to my other colony. Yes, components and advanced components are super, super great. That's fantastic. If I could carry them all, that'd be great. I'll get attacked for this, though. Um, having some here would be good to at least, like, leave a couple just in case. I'll leave, like, I'll take 15. I'll leave a couple of those just in case something breaks. Um, I can deconstruct something else. I don't need to take plaster with me. I don't really need to take steel at this time. I would like to take more stones, but they're not urgent. They are, but they're not. Um, I could take more vital stuff. Um, I could take workbenches, steel hospital beds. is something that I could take. They're like 35 kilos, so each. But that wouldn't be the worst. That would give me a couple more good quality hospital beds. And I could take clothing. I don't want to take silver with me this time. I did take like a small voyage of clothes. We'll take a couple of items. Get some more pants and top. Okay, a couple pants, a couple tops. That's a poor quality. Let's see what else we got here. We've got uh those are guns. I'll tell you what, they will need guns up there, but if I can grab one more okay quality shirt, that would be brilliant. I just don't want to take crap quality stuff. What is that? Is that normal? It's normal 94%. They don't fucking put it on though. Take that. Okay. A couple of light little outfits. I don't really want to take any of this stuff yet. Cooking trainer could be great, but let's not take that. Still hustle beds. Sure, we'll take that on this one. Drug lab's not important. That's not important yet. Turrets could be great. I don't have the power for it, though. Um, I would like to start taking some of these soon. Uh, just because I feel like that group up there is, like, way vulnerable. And I have a lot that are like deconstructed at the moment. Batteries would be great, but I think I might look at adding more electrical shit. Like some standing lamps, some lights up there would be great. I can kind of make them though. They're not too hard, but I could take them with me. So let's go with a bit of steel. I don't want to take all of this, but let's go with like 100 and see what that looks like. 100. Uh, that's not much. What's 1,000 do? Thousand pushing it. I don't need quite that much steel. Take about 500. I do need marble. I could do a slate for some construction purposes. If I take slate, I have grow rooms then. Um, that could be very useful. And I'm taking a heap of components. I also know that I need more like marble blocks and shit. But if I see about 300 of these, it's pushing weight limit. And let's get, let's see what I can fit in with this. It's about 200 odd. Okay. Let's see. I probably don't need that much of that. 250? And we'll take this up a bit more. Take it down to like 250 though. And let's see if I can take in a few of these fucking lights so we can have some lights up there. Do one less. And just because 
I know my people are shit cunts are going to have a fucking fit. Let's throw one extra fucking person in here because we do not want the same shit that we just had before where somebody just like fucks off. Nobody can carry it. Hold on. Let me get somebody that can actually carry shit like 30. Is there anybody that can carry more than 30? There's 31. 31.7. Cypress though. Cypress is like a major healer. I don't know if I want to send him up there this early. He's like good here. But everybody up there is constantly getting fucking beaten up. I just don't really want him in amongst that. There's somebody. Frog. Holy fuck. Can you carry shit? Okay. That's good enough. That gives me a little bit of a gap. Taking components. Advanced components. So more of them. I'm taking a good amount of steel. Good amount of marble. And slate blocks. So I can build more stuff. I'm taking a few lights. I'm taking up. I could see if I could fit one vital monitor, but they are like 20 kilos. That might gate most of what he's doing. Build smitty's not worth it. Battery's like 20. Taking a couple of beds um, and a little bit of clothing, and that's kind of all I've got. All I could think of doing is if it would help, I could probably take some like cloth. Like These are like 30, gra uh, 30 grams. Holy fuck, if I could English. As opposed to these like eight grams, but that does buff it up pretty hard. But I don't need to take that much. If I can have like 500 on me, oops, I fucking hit the wrong button. I still use, just for everybody's clarification, I'm using a keyboard cover as a mic stand, so I can't actually see my fucking keyboard. If you're wondering why I just accidentally fucking took a screenshot instead, it happens more than you think. I kind of want it to go up to 12, 30 kilos, and I think that's going to be like maybe let's go to 50 odd. I actually don't do too badly considering I don't fucking see this, honestly. See, that's really close. Maybe 700 is a neat number for it. Yeah, there we go. Bingo. All right, send that out. That gives us about a 30 kilo leeway on it in the worst case scenario where something's off or somebody fucks off. Or an animal gets slaughtered or some shit. I don't know. There's not many people, there's not many animals at home at the moment, so I shouldn't need to worry about that. The colonist needs treatment. Look, uh, Matt, I can't do anything about you. Like, you're having a major artery blockage, and I can't do anything about that. I, If I had a thing to heal, I'd be healing Naomi. <laughs> as bad as that sounds. I know you're having a heart blockage, and it's major, and you're in a great deal of pain. You can't eat and all that shit. But, like, Naomi's literally, like, incapable of, like, getting up. Like, she can't. She can't do anything at the moment. All right. Let me see what I can do around the place. So, I've got a shit ton of granite, right? And I've got sandstone. So, I guess one thing I could do is I could sandstone floors. Um, this place is mostly built. I don't know what they're building out there. But this place is still good to go. This is all granite and shit. What are you doing out here? Are you mine? Now you're in a caravan. Are you hooked up to something? I think you might be stuck in a wall. Hold up. Did you people do a stupid? Again. Could you, like, remove that so we can get the one horse and get the fuck out of here? Is this what this has been doing? Oh, my God. I'm actually impressed. I'm not even mad. I'm just so fucking impressed. They walled in a horse. Like, what the shit? I I can't make up the shit. The stuff that Rimworld does when I'm not looking, it puts people into rooms that are like, uh, and then they tantrum, and then I'm like, oh, why has this person got a problem? And then I look over, like on their deathbed, I look over and I see a horse is incapacitated because it hasn't eaten in like a fucking week um, because it's stuck in a wall. <laughs> like how is your needs going? It's actually not that bad. It must have just got stuck in there. Okay. All right. Where is the, where's the caravan attached to you? Where's the peoples? Can I get, where are you? A few down the bottom here. Yeah, okay, so Laws and Whale are there. Holy fuck, you have so many horses. There's an orange horse in there that shouldn't be. You know, I think I maybe worked out why we had too many less horses as I probably slaughtered an orange or Sloan. Hey, mate, I see, oh, I love how he's got like a dead guy loaded in him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just store your dead with your people. Oh, that's right. I've got a jettison. Can you get up rope animal busy? Mate, you look like you're asleep. How's about you wake the fuck up? I know it's asleep, 
I know there's not much you can do about that, but like, holy fuck. I want to finish building that wall, but I really don't want that horse to get walled in again. I know somebody would be fast enough to do it. Because there's resources right there. I'll have to fix that later. I can't believe my people. The shit that they get up to. It's funny, don't get me wrong, but holy fuck. These guys are absolute fucking psychotic creatures. I'm like, I look away for a hot minute and there's a horse in a wall. And it wasn't there when the construction started. I, I know I don't have slate, but I don't really care. I don't have enough. A crow's got gut worms. It's all right. At least you guys are doing stuff. It's nice. Yeah, so I don't have any slate. But when I do next, these things will get building. Because I'm not really using it anywhere else. So it should be fine. So if I just zoom in on all these and set them up. Oh, fuck. I'm not redoing that. Absolutely no. Nope, no fucking way am I redoing that. I don't give a shit if I have to dig that horse out of the wall again. Because I don't have to fucking redo a caravan, it'd be fine. I don't actually know if I saved after the caravan. Can you imagine if I didn't? Uh, it wouldn't be the first time. I feel like, I don't know, maybe like the 90th time. I do that a lot. I save so frequently that I can't tell when I actually have saved recently. And sometimes I actually go quite a distance without saving. I'm going to have some water. Hold on. I haven't actually drunk much water. I, you're still on the wall. Good. Okay, good, good. All right. All right. Well, if that's fine. Mole looks like he's got a bed. Nice. Good. So, okay, what I was doing, if I can fucking do this right without decimating everything... Is I was saying to allow these areas because this slate, I don't have any slate, not right now. Eventually I will, and when we do, somebody can go hand building them, and I'll make them grow rooms. I think that's what I've just decided with it. Is I'll just make fucking grow rooms. It'll be fine. It'll be like individual little pockets. I don't know where else I was gonna put these. I'm not quite sure. I'll find somewhere else to put it. It's fine. Uh, sure that allow that all right so i don't know if they'll pick up that horse and go anytime soon maybe they will Let's just have a look around and see how my prisoner situation going vulture uh you've still got ages on you i think vulture's the only one still in prison but i think if the numbers were right what were we up to 202 people or something Radmuth, what is going on with these fucking holes in the wall? Broder, can you do building can? I swear, limestone has to be so fucking fragile because it's constantly getting broken. Uh, tofu's having a shit fit. Rock, what are you doing? Milk and a yak. I think a wall would be a bit more useful. You can do that one. He might do those too. Because I think the yaks and horses and shit keep getting in here. And I think my people are a little bit daft and keep going and shooting shit through the fence. It'd be really nice if they'd just take the time to step over it and walk away. And then there's this shit. What is this doing here? Do I have a spot for that? Can you haul that? I know you got more important stuff. Look, you can just literally just stop that. There you go. Good on you, champ. Just got that out of the door. I love my people. They're so terrible. But Nico, are you able to build? Yeah, you can. How about the fence? Drop that. Somebody else will get it or somebody else will eat it. It'll be fine. I know I made these terribly close. There was a risk with that, but I was really hoping that my people might be okay enough to like have one fence and not destroy the other. But I know that they won't necessarily destroy, destroy it because this is all within a wider fence. Like if I was to click on, say, my fence mark here, it thinks everywhere is is enclosed space at the moment, which is not true. Not where they're supposed to be. Once they fix up a couple of the little holes in the fence, it will be better. It'll be where they're supposed to be and my horses will get the fuck out of my food. Tradoba is having a tantrum now. It's fine. I don't really care if they have tantrums and stuff so they don't actually break something of decent value. Like, you know, when you have psychic suit pulses and they just decided to decimate that. I got a lot of eggs, though. Well, sorry, two eggs look like fucking how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fucking the lies. 
Caravan's run out of food. Which one? So the one going to Aya. Oh, yeah. That doesn't surprise me. That malnutrition is trivial. Look, that's the least of their concerns. I might buy them something. How long have you been here? Great. Yeah, all right. Hold up. So I want to see if you have a healing mech serum because ain't nobody fucking selling that to me lately. You don't, but you do have a psychic shock lance, which I'm keen to buy. So I will buy it. You also have games of Ur, which I might buy because my people up here don't fucking have that and they apparently just cannot live without it. So I might get that. You can have the plasteel. I've got plain leather. We've got good money now. So I guess starting from the bottom, let's get you a couple of games of Ur. A couple of those. Uh, you're not getting comfy chairs, not yet. Not getting fancy statues, none of that shit. I would love one of these, but that would be most of our fucking budget. Heart. I'll tell you what, though. I think Lockhart could probably enjoy getting a new heart, but not for a fucking grand. I'll make that shit. Jesus. Hey, Shadow. Welcome back. How's the trip home? Now tea. I thought you ate dinner. Or did you just get dinner and then you kind of like took it home? I might be confused. A psychic soothe pulsar? Yes. I would like slate blocks, but I don't want to transport them back. And Zula is rolling around and she's adorable. So there's that too. I could have steel. We could have nice things. I don't think I could carry that much stuff though. That warm up tea after trip home. Oh yeah, you know, I hadn't even considered the fact that like literally being in the snow would like literally just hard chill your food. Like, refrigerate the fuck out of it, even if it was freshly cooked. That's not something that came to mind. Like, I know it's, like, cold outside sometimes when, like, in winter here, but never, like, cold enough to fully refrigerate something on the way home. Um, not really that far from stuff either. I could be taking meat home. I could be taking packaged survival meals home, actually. They're kind of low on food. Chocolate for recreation. We can have some chocolate. Let's see what else you got. Can I carry, I've still got some steel. I feel like I've still got steel. Steel is great. Steel is like the all-encompassing need on most of the maps. And medical couldn't fucking hurt up here. But I kind of prioritize stupid blocks. Uh, too heavy. That doesn't surprise me. I don't want that many. I want like 250 and see if I can carry it. Yeah, I can. Let's see if I can hit the rest with steel. Not that fucking much. Jesus, calm down. Oh, let's try 500, yeah? Yeah, kind of. They could kind of carry that. I guess with the excess... I mean, they've still got a fuck ton of money. So, unless I'm buying something really expensive. Can you carry meat? Will you be able to? Not quite. I could... No, nah, they wouldn't carry much. They would give me, like, wool and stuff, but not much. Guess the only other thing is I could trade plain leather for cloth. Yeah, I know this doesn't seem like much of a fucking trade, but I do need to make carpet. So that would be useful. And I guess if we don't take, say, the cat meat stack, still too heavy, not by much. Bear meat, that's actually really close. I unclicked Megasoft, unfortunately. I didn't bring that. Let's see. So I would say we probably don't need quite that much I'd rather bring back a little bit of extra food than that. And I think one of my people were down. So I'm hoping that this goes right. Bring you guys back with a bit of steel, a bit of slate, um, cloth instead of plain leather, which is more useful for what I'm doing. Some components, some advanced components, some meat, some packaged survival meals, some recreational chocolate. Yeah, you guys should be fine. Head back home. Um, and you guys should have just arrived there. What do you have? Please tell me that you have the fucking medical thing, or otherwise I don't know what I'm doing with Naomi. There's not much I can do for her because I've kind of, like, fucked her over brain-wise. Um, which, honestly, was, like, that was me, honestly. It was all me. See, still poker table. I think I'm making poker table. So I'm not going to worry about that. You're not having statues. The Insanity Lance. Let's see what else is there. There's good guns. I don't want that. There's good prosthetics. The prosthetic heart would be cheap enough. If Lockhart can survive, he can have a prosthetic heart. See how that um, See how that uh, uh, operation goes. What are you arguing about? Did it not reheat well or did it kind of get jumbled in transition? Still the plasteel. How's my marble blocks going? You have marble blocks. 
Once I finally sat down properly. Oh, yeah. That overwhelming sigh of relief when you finally get to fucking sit down. I'm spent. Oh, man. I actually don't mind that term. I find it funny. That's got Glitter World Medicine. Buy that. Yeah, you can. All right. Well, this has put me in a bit of a negative, unfortunately. Um, what can I do? 200 off would get me that back. Seems a bit fucking rough on what's his face. How's about we take this to 250? I can almost afford it somehow. What did I buy that was super expensive in here? Anything? I didn't sell my gold. That's why. I was going to say, I'm like, where's my money at? See, I guess it's all the Glitter World medicine that's really expensive. It would be great to have a lot of it. I won't normally pass it up if I can find it, though. I would rather have 12 of them than 20 of those. Because I'll probably get a life save on that. Um, let's see. I could potentially sell a horse or something like that to kind of match out the costs. That's down to 80. That's fine. I'd take that. I don't need more components. I'll just see if I can get a couple of actual medicines too much but i do have a lot of horses so how do you feel about a lot of horses that's not i don't want human leather take that back <laughs> i like that it's like would you trade human leather for horse i'm like no i do that all right let's see 100 of that yes i can afford that and i could carry that i think 200 might be pushing it financially maybe not okay hold on I think we can almost break even with this. Almost. I get $2. Oh, man. Could you imagine if they had, like, 3 bucks, I could get them a stick of chocolate. That's okay. I could buy cloth. There we go. <laughs> Best trade possible. Well, I could also, I could honestly trade, like, maybe one more horse. Um, Maybe. Hold on. Trade one more horse. Nah, nah, nah. I don't have that kind of room. All right. That's fine. We've done the best trade we can. Let's get this back home. I don't know where I'm going to get a healing thing from. I'm going to have to just get that from a quest or some shit. I also didn't bring any food home. I was talking with you while eating. The moment I chose to go home, my plate was empty. <laughs> That's fine. I was wondering about that because I'm like, I thought you said that you were eating. That's why I was confused if you were taking food home and like reheating it and stuff. Because, like, yeah, everybody has a different kind of term for what tea is. And I would Im imagine that it was it. Oh, Jesus. They've gone all sorts of tiny again. Look at this shit. Oh, man. Ludo, I don't even know where you are. There? Jailbreaker? You're right next to the jail. Of course you are. Uh, I don't think I can get to you before you do something with them. I also don't have a Zappy Lance thing, so this might be bad see what I can do. Put it on a raid. Save it on a raid. I love how now I can officially not see a single fucking name. So what I'm hearing is some people tea is not just tea. So tea, so if you're having tea, you could be having a cup of tea or you could be having a meal is what I'm saying. So I'm not quite sure if you're having a cup of tea or having a meal. Please don't jailbreak. Yeah, I see that prison break, you cunt. Jesus, are you gonna are you gonna help us now? Jesus, you piece of shit. Let me let me just beat the shit out of them. I don't know where the other two are. Crow and I think Jackal is there. Hit that. Oh, for me, T is always T, no strings attached. Ah, yeah, it can be difficult to tell sometimes because like. Sometimes, like, here, if I was to say I was having morning tea or afternoon tea, I'm talking about a meal. Um, if I'm having, like, if I'm having, like, tea before bed or something like that, then I'm actually probably having a cup of tea. Maybe. It just depends. It's also never a cup, always a mug, big mug. <laughs> I'm sure Grim would be mortified. Oh, man. Let's capture you back again. What's your... Got a stab scar, you're alright. Fine. Yeah, I'm sure Grim would be rightly mortified about your tea drinking situation. You know how he feels about that. I personally don't really care. Like, I don't mind tea. I like, you know, 
I think I've said it before, I like like Earl Grey. It's an Australian tea as well. It's literally like just Australia blend or some shit like that. It's all right. It's also like, I don't know, it's like Bushels brand or something like black tea. It's all right. Caravan's ambush, huh? Berg. 